Hey fellow Google admins, I've just heard of this use case from a Google Workspace customer that they would like to have selective forwarding enabled in Gmail. That essentially, I mean, today what happens is once you turn off forwarding, all the users in that Google tenant or then in that specific organizational unit, they will not see an option to forward email. So it's all or none based on the organizer or tenant. What they really want is this, that their users should be able to forward email. However, in case if the email is forwarded within the within the domain or within their company, that should be fine. Uh, they should be able to forward the email. But in case if it's going outside their company, then it should not be forwarded. So let's see how we can achieve this by leveraging compliance or routing rules in Google Workspace. So let me share my screen and let's configure this in our Google admin console. So here I'm in my Google admin console. I will go to workspace and then Gmail under Gmail. If I go to setup features, you will notice not the setup features. Come on. Uh, it should be under end user access, I think. That's where you can disable automatic forwarding based on the tenant or the organizational unit and it will remove the option which they see in their Gmail settings. Okay, so we do not want this. We want uh, email forwarding to work, but based on some conditions. And for that, let's go back to Gmail settings here and then let's go to compliance and we will create a compliance rule. So we will scroll down and create a new compliance rule under content compliance. And let's call it uh, stop external forwarding. Okay. Now, this is very important to understand here email messages to affect. Inbound is any email that is coming into your company. Outbound is any email going outside your company. Internal sending is when your user is sending within your company. And internal receiving is when you are receiving an email from your colleague within the company. Okay. So, uh, an internal sending and internal receiving also includes all the domains that are part of your Google Workspace tenant. Okay. So, because we need to apply that policy on any email which is going outside our company. So, we will only enable it on outbound. Okay. So, that email forwarding can keep working on. Uh, internal sending, which means when one person is sending to another person within the company. Okay. So for outbound, we will say, go ahead and add the expression and we'll go with advanced match. And here, let's say headers plus body. Here we need Google uh, scanning engine to look for something that will be available within the email forwarded message. Okay. And there can be a couple of things here, for example, uh, you know, if you look at the forwarded email, I think I have a, so if I go to uh, show original and I say uh, like this FWD, uh, you will have in the subject line when the person is forwarding, but there may be a chance that user may change it to let's say reply or something. So we'll skip this one and we will go for something that I think system adds. So let's look at that. So this should be added by the system itself. So we'll copy this. Okay. And we will put it here. Okay. So if you're asking Google to look at all the messages, which are going outbound, that means outside our company to check whether this is found in those messages. Okay. And if that's found, then instead of delivering, you can either go to quarantine or reject the message, or you can send it to other recipients by modifying it. In our case, let's reject the message and make it simple and say outside company email forwarding is not allowed. Please contact your IT admin or more information. Okay. And let's save it after saving it, make sure that it is enabled so that our rule can start detecting and rejecting such emails. 
So my stop external forwarding rule has been set up. Okay, and it is enabled because I see the disable option here. So now let's do a quick test here. I have John's email box here. John is on the same domain, uh, id.goldira.com. And here, this is my email or my mailbox, id at goldira.com. So I will go ahead and take this email. I'll forward that email to two people here. One would be John. Okay. Uh, he's part of my company. So that email should be delivered either to him. And then let's also send it to somebody who is outside that domain. Uh, let's do it to help at Microsoft.com. Okay. Let's call it email test and click on send okay so that is being sent and i really what i'm expecting here is that the email to microsoft should be bouncing and the email to john should be delivered uh, okay so as you see we got the uh, message here that it's bounced and if i go to john's mailbox we have just got this email okay so it was sent from the same domain to same domain user and it got delivered. But if I go back and look at the alert, it says it was not delivered to Microsoft, Microsoft because outside company email forwarding is not allowed. Please come. This is the message that we configured. Now, there might be multiple ways to do it. This was one of the ways you can leverage content compliance rule to do you know, some sort of email routing based on your conditions. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. With that, thank you so much.